Hey guys, what is going on? If you do not know who I am by now, I'm That Orange GT, and today I am back with exciting news. So I'm actually about to pick up my 22 Mustang GT from getting a couple stuff done, and if you guys have not known, the engine actually blew up on the car. So I actually just had the engine replaced and a whole bunch of stuff done to the car as well. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about everything that's been done with the car and how it actually broke. Uh, Cause I know there's been a lot of questions on about like what happened to it, like where my video's been and stuff like that. But you know, since I'm getting the car back today, there should be a lot of more content coming, and uh, excited to show you guys everything new on the car since it's been a while since I did an update video. But for now, uh, I'm about to head over to the shop where my car is at. It's actually getting some new stripes done, and I can't wait to show it to you guys in a little bit. So uh, yeah, let me hop in my car and I head over there. All right, so about to go pick up my 22 Mustang GT, and if you guys have not seen this car yet, this is my 2019 Volvo S60, and uh, it has the Polestar tune, and it has a couple other things done to it so far, but uh, nothing major, but I am by dropping it off after I pick up my Mustang, and uh, actually switching the, both the cars off and uh, getting some work done to this. So hopefully, this thing turns out pretty nice as well, and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing to this. I just need a comfortable daily driver since my Mustang does have oh, so much power, and it's just super thirsty on gas, but this thing, does the job just fine and I absolutely love it. Just picked up the car and let me tell you guys, I am so happy with how it turned out. Now, some of you guys might not like it compared to the previous Stripe, but uh, to my opinion, it turned out a lot better. And since it's been a long time since you guys seen the car, let me go ahead and walk around it and show you guys what's been done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the front of the car. And as you can tell, the stripes look amazing right off the bat. So I went with a matte black stripe and it, you guys probably can't see it on camera, but it's a gloss black pinstripe. And these are the Shelby GZ350 stripes. And I've been meaning to put new stripes on the car, especially since my other ones got damaged. But that being said, I think these ones look absolutely fantastic and it matches the whole car in general. But uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these stripes. Cause in my opinion, they look really good. Other than that, nothing really different on the front. Still have the RTR grill with the Roush front end on there. And this is probably my favorite front end setup for these cars that you can possibly get so that's why i still have it rocking uh i'm honestly debating with the gt500 bumper for these cars but then again i think they look a little tacky so that's why i haven't done one yet but again let me know in the description below what you guys think about the gt500 bumper on these cars in my opinion it looks a little tacky but who knows i might end up throwing one on there uh still have the rovos wheels on there and uh these have been holding up great however with the whipple supercharger these tires i have the michelin as3s on there uh currently they are not holding up pretty well so i'm gonna have to upgrade them and uh leading towards a uh, michelin's again but not sure exactly which setup i want so uh, if you guys have recommendation on tires uh let me know but and you can't go wrong with michelin's in my opinion i think they make some of the best tires out there and uh and yeah uh besides the wheels uh have the roof wrap black still so i didn't touch that and didn't put the stripes on or anything but i do have the stripes coming down as well and it flows underneath the spoiler and it goes down there as well and i just think it turned out really well uh then i have the uh the euros installed as well uh those are pretty new and i'm a huge fan of the euros like I think this car looks 10 times better with those Euro tail lights only because it looks more exotic and it's just something a Mustang this doesn't have, like a regular Mustang doesn't have, that makes sense. But yeah, I just think it makes it something that's a little more special. So I do have the Coors exhaust still on there as well, but stay tuned for video on Monday because I am going catless on this car. So it should sound absolutely insane with these Coors extremes and uh, a lot of people said that setup is really, really, really loud, and I'm pretty excited for it, to be honest with you. Even being in California, I still think I can get away with it, but uh, hopefully I don't get a ticket and cross my fingers that doesn't happen inside of the car, because nothing really changed since my previous stuff, but let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of the car. So pretty much nothing really changed on the inside as well. Still have the dash painted. Uh, I did get rid of my old shift knob for one of the carbon fiber ones, only because and my, I damaged the other one by taking it off. So this one is my replacement and I didn't want to wait another six months for a shift knob when this one gets a job done just fine. Have my Starbucks, which is essential, especially during this shutdown. So coming around to the driver's side, I just want to show you guys a better look at the steering wheel because I don't think I've ever showed you guys end up look at it, but it's pretty nice. It's full Alcantara wheel. Even the bezels are wrapped carbon fiber, which is just not, why am I saying carbon fiber? Wrapped Alcantara, which is super nice. And uh, I think it just really makes interior stand out. Now I did lose my heated steering wheel, but that is something that I'm willing to lose for this car because in my opinion, this just looks so much better than the stock wheel. And with the interior, that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and show you guys the engine bed. So just popped the hood of the car and uh, recently had the whole engine replaced. And that's something that I'll go into in another video. At the current moment, just just walk around and get everyone back familiar with the car. Um, pretty much the Whipple Stage 2 kit on this thing and uh, it's pretty much a beast. This thing does absolutely 
I don't even know how what it can do because like my tires like I said still need to be upgraded but I push it to somewhat of its limit and this thing just keeps pulling and it's just honestly just a super fun car. So as the time goes by, I'm going to be making a lot more videos with this car. This is just a quick update video to get you guys back familiar with what's been done with it. Uh, there's still a lot more to do on this car because I am not even close to being done with it now. I still have a lot more projects that I want to do. And there's a lot of track days and a lot of racing that I want to do as well with this car. But stay tuned for my next video because that's going to be when I delete the cats on this thing. This is going to be an absolute monster. I also have a couple people I'm going to be cruising with on the canyon. So I'm going to be doing some canyon drives and some point of view drives of this car. And it uh, should be a fun time. So if you guys have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, with all this being said, I'll talk to you guys next video.